Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of microwave communication and television. In today's session, we are going to learn about block diagram of fixed microwave links. So a microwave link is a communication system that uses a beam of radio waves in the microwave frequency range to transmit information between two fixed locations. Okay. So these two fixed locations may be at the transmitter side as well as the receiver side. So we are using a microwave frequency range signals in order to transmit some sort of data or information, or we can also call it as uh, we are trying to communicate with a transmitter unit as well as receiver unit. Okay. So this simple uh, one way microwave links include four major elements. One is the transmitter, another one is receiver and the transmission lines uh, as well as antennas. Okay. So let's see what does the transmitter, receiver, transmission lines as well as antennas uh, do their job. Okay. So if you see here, there is an two antennas. Okay. Uh, one is at the transmitter end and another one is the receiver end. Okay. So this particular transmitter is connected to an antenna one transmitting antenna using a transmission line and the other end of the antenna, which is at the receiver side. Okay, this antenna is also connected to a receiver, okay, through a transmission line. Let us say we are giving some input, okay, or it can be a data or information, okay. So this input is given to a transmitter. Here, the transmitter first generate the microwave signal, okay, along with the desired frequency in order to transmit from transmitter end to the receiver end, okay, along with that. So transmitter end to the receiver end, uh, receiver end, along with that, okay, this transmitter also modulates the signal. So right now the modulation signal here at the transmitter end means we are adding some data, whatever the data or the information we want to send, that data is added to the signal, which is generated by the transmitter. So initially, whenever you give some input, that input goes to a transmitter. And at the transmitter end, the transmitter first generate the required microwave signal with some frequency required to move from transmitter end to the receiver end. And along with that, this transmitter also modulates the signal. Here, modulating the signal indicates the data which we want to give as an input is the data is given, which is given as an input is combined with the signal which we are generated. Now, using a transmission line or a transmission line, okay, we are going to transmit the signal, modulated signal to an antenna and this antenna transmits the signal into free space, okay. So this is the transmitting end, what it happens. Now, if you see the receiving end, as the signal is transmitted from the transmitting end like this, okay, this signal is received by the receiver antenna, okay. And this receiver antenna is again connected to a transmission line. Here again, a transmission line here is used to take the modulated signal as an input from the receiving antenna and give it to the receiver, okay? So here the receiver, the job of a receiver is to demodulate, demodulate the, demodulate the incoming signal. So here what we got, we have obtained a modulated signal and is that, that is transmitted through the receiver end. Okay. Now, after receiving the modulated signal, we need to demodulate the signal such that we are extracting the original data. So suppose let us say here we have given an input, the data can be in the image form. Okay. Video form, audio form or text form, anything. Okay. Here we are modulating it with some signal, okay, such that it can travel in the free space. And after the receiver, we need to obviously demod that particular signal such that our original data is extracted and this original data is taken as an output, okay. This is how a basic standard microwave link communication system works. So it uses one transmitter for transmitting the signal and one transmission line, which is connected to a transmitting antenna. And this antenna transmits the modulated signal into free space 
and this modulated signal is taken by a, a receiving antenna and again this receiving antenna is connected to a transmission line and this transmission line is uh, received by the uh, receiver where the demodulation will be done and the original data is taken as an output signal. Okay. 